Well, hello, hello, my beautiful people. My name is Gat, and welcome back to Sierra Ops. Last time, we found out that these people were getting their ass handed to them by the Martians. And yada, 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 somehow I'm a commander, which is like, whoa, I'm a lieutenant, right? Maybe, I mean, like, I, I was barely qualified to be captain. You're going to make me a commander now? Commanding, like, a squadron or some bullshit like that? Yeah, that was basically it. And now we're gonna go talk to the father, who I think is fixing Sierra? I'm not too sure. Okay, without further ado, let us continue. Sierra. Um, it's been half a year since I've seen her in person. <laughs> he just walked through. You saw that? Like, just rough and fur, just. <laughs> Do you think I'm standing here again after everything that happened? I wonder if these are shoes I'll be able to fill. Oh, hey, Junius! Junius? Julius! Junius! <laughs> I turned my turn, my eyes landing on the man waving from behind the, gu the new guns on Sierra's starboard. A1! Iron One, reporting for duty. Keep working the barrel adjustments. It has to be up another degree at least. Understood. This unit will continue with the previous assigned task. <laughs> Here's a little robot, are you kidding me? Climbing up the ladder, he greets me on the upper hangar floor, wiping some of who knows what off his hands on a nearby rag. Is that one of the androids you kept talking about? Yep, pretty nifty, right? Yes. Don't lie to me, brat. You probably think it's lame for a guy past his 20s to be using droids this cute, aren't you? You said it, not me. Well, I agree. Then why keep using him? Freya, find them Freya finds them cute, so why not? It's not like I don't have any self-dignity to spare. Right. It's about time you actually showed up. I was starting to wonder if you dozed off or something in the lab and I needed to go grab you. Did something happen? Not exactly, but Doc's have my a <laughs> Doc will have my ass if, if I don't tell you about Lapis. Lapis? Yep, follow me. Oh, the android. No, the Gundam. Practically dragging me, the older man expect expertly leads me through numerous maintenance tunnels, shortcuts, before finally arriving to the bottom level of the hangar doors. What is this about? Oh, uh, wow. Uh-huh. Not bad, right? You know what? I was stupid. I'm like, where is his arms? Because I thought these were like the amputate amputated um arms. No, they're right here. I thought these were wings or something. I thought she was going to be shelved. You're not the only one. I wanted to scrap that damn thing. But the board was pretty enthusiastic about her specs after her report. Something about a morale boost? Either way, I'm working on a new deployment add-on system that lets you switch, put on some temp weapons or batteries. Still needs a name, though. I'm thinking cast? You know, for casting off a shell, since they're disposable. I have to come up with another acronym for it sooner. That said, I have to rip out a completely new downskill. <laughs> that said, I had to rip out and completely downskill the engines to have capacity to deal with the overload issue. Half? Can't she still run shields at half? Eh, we'll see. Hmm, so I'm gonna die. Hey, okay, cool. Don't worry. No one's gonna be risking their necks in that thing anytime soon. I went ahead and installed a remote controller. So as long as we slap a decent AI in it to help compensate, you should be able to use it however you like from Sierra. An AI? Something wrong with that? No, it's nothing. Suit yourself. I'll probably... <laughs> I'll probably whip you up a practice sim with Lapis or something if I get the time. 
Anyway, I'm going back to head out and finish work on those guns. But you should definitely look for Doc. Let me guess. Doc told you about my promotion? More like he cried to me about it in between yelling, How can I keep my lab safe? And what are they thinking? Sending someone so young into the battlefield. There's a plenty of officers younger than me. Yeah, but you're his lad, you know? Yes, I know. It's days like this, I'm glad I'm not the per- <laughs> It's days like this, I'm glad to have, have a person with a- Not to have- Fine. It's days like this, I'm glad to not have a person with a net worth over 10 digits doting me. Dot on me. Don't worry about everyone, including you. Doc worries about everyone, including you. Yeah, but he knows I'm a responsible adult. You're an ass sometimes, you know that? Glad to see someone's in a better mood. <laughs> Just tell me where Doc is. <laughs> Go take in the CIC, party pooper. There shouldn't be anyone else inside since we had to power down for a bit. You have to see for... Uh, you have to see yourself... <laughs> you have to see yourself else, though. I'm not planning to stick around for much longer and Doc's probably too stuck in. If that's the case, then I'll try to make it quick. Thank you for the help, Rufford Ford. Rufford Ford. You know what? I'm always gonna fuck up that li the name. There's no way I'm not gonna mess up that name. No problem. Later. What name do you want me to come up with this guy? Like, he needs a new name. Comment down below. Like, should I just call him Red Hair? Shanks? Or, hmm. Renji? <laughs> I'm just thinking of anime names with people with red hair. But, no, seriously. Come up with a different name, because I can't say Rufford Ford. Rufford Ford. Rufford Ford. Rufford Ford. I, I don't know, man. No problem. Later. Time to see Doc. Da da da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Despite the familiarity of my surroundings, I can't help but furrow my brows. Silence. Absolute silence. I stare up, the dim lights casting an almost otherworldly glow on the mantle walls. Almost a bit like that a hospital. <clears throat> Why is it always like this? Why can't I let go? Even if things aren't close to ideal, I have bigger problems to worry about. So, than something that happened over half a decade ago. Why can't I just... I shake my head. I don't have time for this. Forcing myself to keep a faster pace, it doesn't take long for my goal to come into sight. Doc? <laughs> Doc? I step inside through the half-open door. <clears throat> Junius. Practically tossing away his tools, the old man throws his arms around me. Thank goodness you fi you're finally off that commander door's ship. He pulls away, only to his, <laughs> only to put his hands on either side of my head, and I turn and turn it. it <laughs> he pulls away, only to put his hands on either side of my head, and turns it in every which direction, as if we were examining a new ship part. I can't believe they waited so long to call a retreat. Well, what even was Howard thinking, keeping you on that pointless post? It's not like a few squadrons could even do much without an organized fleet to back them up. Prying his hands off, I tried to suppress the slightest irritation pulling at those words. The whole reason there's an organized fleet is because we stalled out enough time for the reformation. I know, I know! I just... He sighs. Just promise me you'll stay safe, Junius. I... <sighs> you know I can't make that promise. <clears throat> can't you just lie... <clears throat> <clears throat> can't you just lie to this old wizard, feeling a little better? Can't you just lie to make this old wizard feel a little better? Mm. Ugh, why does it have to be you? 
Look at it this way. If you finish up the ship properly, there's less that can go wrong in the field. As if there's any chance that, I wouldn't finish it up properly. Then we're set, aren't we? Fat chance. It's worth the try. Hmm. 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 Like a cinderi. He pats me on the head, messing with my hair. Despite how he he repeats the same actions as of late, I can't help but draw comparison to the past. But it's not good goodbye this time, is it? At least not in the same way it was two decades ago. Am I just setting myself up for disappointment by thinking like this? Would it be wrong of me to be happy right now? I don't know. What is up with this boy? I just need a hug here. <laughs> like, bruh. PTSD, abandonment issues. Bruh. Dude, you're just messed up. I double checked the dispar the departure product procedure displayed on my tablet. The whole the whole process is nearly identical to the one at Venus, but I can't shake the tingle at the tips of my fingers. After I review everything with Doc on the upper level and board Sierra, my role is set in stone. Captain Junius Fahrenheit. Acting Commodore of the Tau Squadron. Taking one last breath, last big breath, I push the door switch. Junius! Hmm? And in one bear hug, all my built up confidence went flying away. He releases me, only to slap me across the back, his excitement translating into the amount of force he's using. Isn't she grand, Junius? Yes, for sure. I turn my attention towards the ledge. Look at it! Look at it! Look! <laughs> I don't know what it is. I love ships like this. Like, if they're big and kind of bulky a little bit. Like, don't get me wrong. I like sleek también, but big, bulky, that looks like it could, like, take a lot of hits and do a lot of damage. Oh my god, I love that in and stuff. Like, I don't know, man. Sleek is okay, but this... This right here, I love this. Mm hmm. Wow, you really pulled off some magic overnight, Doc. Of course, I'm not Signal's head researcher for nothing. No, remember what I what we talked about yesterday, Junius. A deal's a deal. At least one short update email. <laughs> At least one short update email a week. And one long message whenever we're on extended break. Better keep your word, lad. I'll do my best. Are you trying to make this old wizard cry? Where did my adorable lad go? I already agreed to the deal, didn't I? Just patiently wait for your emails, old man. So prickly. You be, you be careful as well, right? The lab is pretty well secure, but who knows how chaotic the situation can get if... Mm. I can take care of myself, lad. I wonder sometimes. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Just make sure I don't hear any rumors of you throwing an, a tantrum over something silly and we'll be fine. Of course not. What do you take me for? The infinitely difficult to please Dr. Lomonoso. Baseless slander. There's no one easier to get along with than me. I chuckle. I'll see you later. Remember to stay safe. Hey, that's my line. Ah, oh, whatever. Go do some good out there, lad. Giving him one last hug, I enter the elevator for the lower entry levels. This is really it. I take a single footstep, a million emotions insulting me. Frustration. Fear. Uncertainty. Hope. Everything jumbles together in a mess of thoughts and feeling and feelings urging me forward. I can do this. Pulling out of the corridor, I retrace my steps from yesterday. We have to take we have to make this count. We're gonna mess up. Fascinating. 
Now you said this thing can calculate the same data in half the time? What kind of voice does he have? <clears throat> um, yes. I mean, I haven't really messed with this, the standard UTV stuff, but the, the math works out. Oh, morning, Captain. Captain Brooks is on the line, and, um, I take it from here, Arnie. Thanks, Captain. I don't know why. He sounded like... That's what I think he sounds like. Ah, Fahrenheit, there you are. After seeing the setup you have here, I can tell why having issues flying standard... <laughs> why you have <laughs> issues flying standard issued. These are some perfect specs right here. I can't wait to see her in action. Don't mind her, Fahrenheit. Simply act if you, if you would if she were not here. And that's easier said than done. Alan, please. I'm supposed to be the men his mentor? Of course I have to make my presence known. Feel free to give your input whenever possible. I'm still learning, so any advice is welcome. She chuckles. Sounds good to me, but if I actually am getting in the way, let me know. I'm here to teach you the ropes, not command you. Noted. That said, if Sarah's this impressive, <laughs> I'll be surprised if we attract if we attract a bit of attention. Not to worry about as long as we keep an eye out for any nosy busybodies. Is everything ready on our side for a simulation launch? Yes, ma'am. What's her status? Everything is for. <laughs> Everything's ready for launch. Initiating launch sequence. Launch sequence. Uh, I can't speak today. Uh, on, let me drink some water. Drink some water, my dudes. Mm. Dude, that looks so dope. That looks so dope. <clears throat> doom, 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 boom, 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 boom. Now or never. <clears throat> Sierra launching. Uh, why is it going so slow? Go faster. Why is it going so slow? Okay, there we go. There we go. Boom. There we go. There we go. Okay, here we go. I took a look over the report from HQ this morning, so want me to summarize our, our orders for you? That would be great. Thank you. Basically, we're free to do whatever we want as long as it contributes to the war effort in some way. The easiest were to join ex existing operations, but we can also stage our own assuming we get approval from HQ. This whole setup is still pretty experimental, so what we're actually allowed to do right now is pretty limited. With all that said, even if we have a lot of free time right now, a single well turn side operation, <laughs> a single well time operation, side operation, succeeding could spell the difference between a near victory and a decisive win in the future. So, we need to spend our time wisely. Exactly. If I may interject, I think now would be an ideal if we spend some time acc accumulating to our current setup. We live at HQ Tim and Stone Island. Also, aren't you supposed to be in bed? I'll be taking my break shift soon. However, I felt it necessary to speak up before then. Even assuming we're all familiar with the standard operating procedure of the UTV, this is the first time we've encountered structures such as this. I believe it would be benefic beneficial. I think it would benefit everyone to take a day to acclimate, <laughs> adequately acclimate to each other before we participate in any mission. Point taken. What do you think, Fahrenheit? I understand what he's saying, and having more time to familiarize with Sierra would be ideal, but I already... I already won! Nothing. Let's move forward with the break. Gotcha! See you on board! I wanna see how this game is, man. Shelving my minor embarrassment aside, I turned my attention to the protocol handbook. 
technically this break isn't really more of a low alert standby per period versus versus something truly off duty like sure leave there's always a chance we'll be deployed on the flight but as long as i see these breaks after a major mission the chance of of that is extremely small consider we're not exactly in the position for an extended break i should probably make use of this time to make sure the crew is, a, is as rested as possible even if we're still technically technically still on duty and the break is only one day long i sigh a break is a break i may as well actually take it easier and try to get to know my crew if i don't have anything else planned Pulling my tablet from stock, I stand up and flatten the wrinkle in my clothes. I don't recall anyone being on the day shift schedule like I am, but I'd probably be able to speak to the same person across two shifts at least. I may as well make the best of this break. Would you like to see the tutorial for break periods? Um, yeah, sure, why not? Breaks are broken down to shifts, where different characters can be interacted with on board <laughs> with on board Sierra. Choose who to visit will advance the time to the next shift, where a new round of interactions can be picked from. All interactions are the are time sensitive and cannot be chosen outside of its specified time frame. To skip the break, to skip to the end of the break period, have Junius rest in his cabin instead. Post mission breaks take place after main missions during the, the free room period. And are three, and are <laughs> and are three shifts long, but not all crew members are active during every shift. Interacting with a senior crew during the breaks is the first step to building a long-lasting relationship. The earlier friendships are established, the more fruitful they will be eventually become. They're right, cool. Hmm. We gonna go to the lounge or the hallway? Eeny, meeny, miny. Mo, I gonna choose yo. Hallway. Okay, so I could go talk to Brooks. Or I could talk to Rufford Ford. No, I'm gonna go talk to Brooks. Why not, man? Hmm. With a couple of boxes st stacking on top of each other, Captain Brooks flashes me a smile when she notices me in the hallway. Oh, good evening. Wait, it's technically morning, isn't it? Being on the night shift gets disoriented, disorienting fast. Would you like some help with that? I appreciate it. Taking the boxes on top, I follow her in the direction she gestures to. I would have asked Alan, but he's still asleep on his ski on a on a ship. The asshole. Isn't he on the evening shift? Yeah, but he's more of a cat machine than man anyway. What's sleep to him? Hmm. She chuckles. I'm kidding, of course. He deserves a break as much as anyone after last week. But heroes will. It gets infuriating to hear uh, about Regulation 1, what it, what it's, dash whatever it was every day. My seam. A noble and a stickler for regulations. Statistically, it's not that strange to bump into someone that's fr that fits that description in this line of work. Of how many branches, branch children end up in the UTV. Still. This is the first time I've actually met someone like it in person. Granted, the Ferios are pretty are known to be pretty honorable and chivalrous. So what do I know? Captain Brooks seems to casually ignore his status at least. This is it! After digging through her pockets for a tablet, he opens the way into the modest corridor. Uh quarters. Put that box over there on the desk, will you? Got it. Judging by the sparse decoration, she has to make do with the essentials until now. You know, it's been a while since I actually had to sleep in a crew dormitory, let alone another ship. Is it too cramped? I could at least see if I could get you a bigger room. No, this is pr already pr <laughs> No, this is already plenty Fahrenheit. <laughs> I literally... I... Sorry, I don't know why. I just cannot speak. I'd literally be willing to sleep on a sofa for the sake of staying on board this beauty. Then again, if you like a roommate... 
That's a bit... She chuckled. <laughs> Sorry for all the bad jokes. I feel a little giddy after turning around. I have to say, it's a bit surreal how empty it is on board. I almost feel like we have too much room. Do you know what I mean? Compared to your ship, yes. I can see why you feel that way. Was it always like this? My nod. Sierra was designed to be as automated as possible to prototype for potentially unmanned long-distance mining missions. Now that you mention it, most of the crew is from the Venus Project, right? Correct? We lost most of the Signal exclusive staff and gained a few new members, but yes, that's more or less the case. Maybe that explains why everyone seems so competent. Is the UTV really that bad? I wish bad could sum it up. Corruption and nepotism is a, is a lot more rampant than a few rich assholes find their way to the to the hotel for high rank. That's why we have military schools for a reason. My god, what is up with this game? You cannot buy rank. You shouldn't. Look at um look at the the Euro before Napoleon, right? All of their armies suck. They didn't have competent, um, you know, leaders and all that until fucking Napoleon kicked in with his, you know, skilled military men and like, all right, we're going to take all of Europe, even though they failed. But, you know, even though they failed, it was like, you know, still kicking the ass from <laughs> from France. I suppose it's only fitting how badly we lost at Monster in that respect. After all, it's hard not to be critical. Cynical at every new face that comes along, since there's a good chance they'll either be dead or transferred the week after they see any action. That sounds a lot grimmer than I thought it would. Hmm. Point is, don't focus on the frustrating parts too much and you'll be fine. As we can do, all we can do is try to make up for everyone we lost and will lose. Hmm. Hmm. That's not an, that's enough of that. I got some unpacking to do and some sleep to catch, so we'll have to speak later. Thanks again, Fahrenheit. No need to thank me. If you need anything else, I'll be happy to help. Really? I may just take you up on that offer later. See you. Okay, we talk to her. Don't fuck, don't focus on the frustrating parts. Is that all we can do? Feeling the weight of both the past and the present on my shoulders, I resume my walk. Alright. Well, we can't go to the lounge no more. The only place we can go is hallway. Alright, let's go talk to Alan. I'm not even going to call you Pharos or whatever your name is. I'm going to call you Alan. Every time your name comes up, it's going to be Alan, okay? With my walk having taken me to the bowels of the ship, I listen to the sounds of someone foot someone's footsteps getting increasingly louder as I venture closer to the car cargo hold. Feeling a little curious, I find myself approaching the increasingly familiar figure. Good afternoon, Alan. Fahrenheit. We'll bring you here. Actually, I was hoping to ask you the same. Where is this? Where is this exactly? door leads to the cargo hold. I see. As you may have guessed from my question, I'm attempting to gain some sort of initial map of this vessel. Sorry about how convoluted <laughs> it is. Doc isn't really good at following convention. Ah, yes. I've heard of this concern relating to St. Nilium's layout. I suppose that's the cause of his genius, in a sense. Thanks putting it... <laughs> That's putting it fairly optimistically. Still, it shares many in ingrained qualities with UTV vessels, even if it is apparently superficial. I believe another week or so will resolve any issues that may come up. Have you been on many UTV vessels? More than I can count on one hand, but the majority of them were minor visits during family obligations. I've only ever served on three different vessels all of them with or in service to Captain Brooks. I take it you've known her for a long time? Long enough to know she and I have a rather complicating, conflicting personalities. 
he rubs his head as if even thinking about it gives him a headache. Still, I suppose I have nothing to complain about. I'm the one who made this decision after all. Decision? It's a rather long story, but the gist of what it <laughs> of it is that I owe her a great deal, including my continued service in the UTV. In that sense, ignoring her quirks, shall we call them, are rather insignificant when considering the larger picture. Still, there's no there's no more there's no mistakes that she's far better at fulfilling her duties than many of our contemporaries. Any frustration I've suffered under her is nothing in comparison to what occurred under certain other individuals, such as attempting to abuse my family influence. Hmm. Ah, please don't think I'm speaking from experience. I've been rather fortunate with those I've chose to surround myself with. I see. As for the present situation with ongoing war. The effects of the fleet reorganization has yet to be seen. However, I suspect the balance may shift once the fleets have firmly established themselves in their roles. Incompetence breeds death. Hmm. My grandmother never is one for flowery language, I'm afraid. I see. There is no need to look so grim, Fahrenheit. As Captain Brooks says, I'm simply being overly pessimistic as always. Is that so? Hmm. If you pardon me to, if you'll pardon me, <laughs> if you pardon me to speak for a moment, despite my lower post, the world is a different place. Sometimes you have no choice but to fight. I'll keep that in mind. Please do. I don't wish to see another person embroiled in endless ethics debates to the point of exhaustion. Another, Captain Brooks. Hmm. Anyway, shall we speak of something less serious? I would be grateful if you could possibly help me locate the lounge. Oh, of course. It will be my pleasure. Despite the idle chatter as we pace down the hallway and up towards the front of the ship, the inside of my head rings with the impact of his words. Sometimes you have no choice but to fight. I can't help but wonder if that's the thought process that brought us here in the first place. Okay, let's do one more. Let's see. Ah, uh, let's see. I talked to her. Let's go talk to. Damn it! I want to. Uh, Rufford Ford. Rufford Ford. I'm just gonna call you Red. Until someone comments down below what to call him, I'm just gonna call him Red. On the way back from the lower decks, I find myself looking at Red. Red, standing at the doorway leading to the CIC with a, a per perpetuated expression on his face and a fish tank at his feet. He looks up and our eyes meet. Sometimes about that ex something about that expression spells trouble. Hey, Junius, got a minute? Sure, but why do you have a fish tank? It's a terrarium, actually. Remember Johnny from CIC? Harper? Didn't he say have Venus? Well, he left us a present. He gestures down at the tank, lined with quaint little plants and some sort of mossy bottom. Why not just leave it in storage for now and see if we can send it back, back on him, back to him on the next supply shuttle? I'll do that, but I think the shuttle crew will probably flat out refuse to accept it, even if we fulfilled the automatic feeding unit. Uh, what? Huh? Oh, you thought the tank was empty. It isn't? I leaned down and scrutinized the ter- <laughs> The terrium. Aquarium? Terrium. Okay. I'm not quite sure about the species. But I think corn snake is a good guess. Hmm? Oh, is our mighty Fahrenheit afraid of a little snake? It's not gonna hurt you, probably. Who knows what a starving snake might do? Not funny, Red. Oh, trust me, 
That's plenty funny. Just not for you. Mmm. <laughs> Anyways, don't worry about the details. I'll get the snake business sorted out one way or another. I bet CIC's pl plenty glad I got it out of their systems, though. It was per it was really mucking up some wiring. Thanks for dealing with it, then. The last thing we need is something going wrong in the middle of battle. Oh, no. Thank you for that reaction. You practically made my day. Mm. Anyway, work calls. Later, Junius. Later, Red. With Smirk still really... <laughs> With Smirk still very much plaster on his face, he picks up the tank and dis disappears <laughs> down the hall. Why the heck did Doc pick him of all people? Okay, I'm gonna end it there. Because I feel like... Because I didn't pick nothing. I didn't pick nothing right now. And Red left. He left. So this has got to be like the main shit. I'm gonna end it here. So next episode might be like an hour because... I suck at these missions. I really do. I suck at tutorials that man. If you haven't noticed from the first video. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna end it here. If you liked today's video, I want you to beat up the like button, jump the subscribe button, stab the bell notification to see whenever I post, and comment down below. Comment down below, like, what do you want me to call that guy? What do you want me to call Rutherford? Like, I'm gonna call him Red for now until someone says something, but... I'm just gonna stick for Red for now. But comment down below. Maybe you have an interesting name for me. And also, comment down below saying who's the best Vato in the video. You know it's Gat. <laughs> you know it's me, motherfucking Gat. Alright, alright. I will see you manana. Alrighty. No, Saturday. Sunday. Uh, shit. <laughs> Alrighty, this is Gatsin. Farewell. And as always. <laughs>